two years ago now, I was invited to uh, do a residency at 18th Street, a research trip connected to um, this exhibition, Universal History of Infamy. My piece is called Corazón de los Pantapájaros. It's a piece that I've been working on since 2013. It's a, a piece that as it spaces this instance that happened during the Guatemalan Civil War, in, specifically in 1975, where um, art students um, from the popular university put up a, a play or adapted um, a play from 1962, which is called Corazón de los Pantapájaros but they adapted it to um, their political and social situation at the moment. The play offended some people in power, and the play was censored in a very exaggerated manner. My own taking of the play has not actually been the play, but it has been a condensation of um, the kind of characters that um, the original play presented could be in any Latin American country. A character which is the oligarchy, the church, the president, the soldier, a wild card uh, figure which is the scarecrow. The scarecrow itself, uh, the scarecrow of the title is something um, been a bit interesting to think about what, what it is. In the 1962 play, they explain in some passage that the scarecrow or the scarecrows are the bodies of political dissidents that are found in the cornfields. And I think it is a, a hard um, role to probably interpret because uh, what is the scarecrow? I mean, he's supposed to be um, a political dissident perhaps a victim? Is he actually like a spiritual being um, between plant and human? Is he a dead or a living person? This censorship, of course, affected other arts, and there's been uh, artists before me that have been inspired by this play, but uh, it seems like it's an instance in censorship that is still a bit haunting for us as creative people in that place.